The one thing in JavaScript that's really interesting to understand and know how to use is how to return a function from a function. And this is important when you're dealing with trying to do some type of closure behavior. So for example, let's say we had a counter that starts at zero and we have a function that basically just increments that counter by one. So we can go ahead and make a function here that just returns count plus plus. And if we call that a couple of times, you'll notice that the counter goes from zero to one to two. So the issue with this, if you want to have three different counters all incrementing at different stages, you can't do this external variable here. So an approach is you can kind of wrap all this code inside of something called a closure. So I can say const make counter returns a function that does the exact same logic. So now this count variable is actually a private variable that's enclosed over this function. And instead of doing all this console logging, I can say const counter one is equal to make counter and counter two is equal to make counter. So now these two counters have different internal variables that are storing this count. And as I call them, they're going to be incrementing their own separate counter.